Alan, welcome back to Material Energy Cubed. And as you can see from around here, I've been stripping out. I've been stripping out this layer, this area of all the little redstone devices and hoppers and furnaces and all that kind of really cool stuff that I really want. Really, 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 really. Well, not really, but I want them. I want them all because once I turn this uh, AE spatial area off, I... I put it away and it's gone. Uh, I just thought I'd show you that I found this in the corner. I didn't. I don't know if I showed you this in the last episode. I don't think I picked it out. I don't think I even noticed it. I think I came around the corner and saw that great big thing and just thought all about that and haven't really done anything over here. Uh, fortunately for me, it seems like this pickaxe that I made is going through everything fairly well. So that one block that I've got of this stuff already on the Victory Monument from last episode, um, all the spares that I've got, all the other ingots, are going to end up being making tools at this rate because it's not a bad little tool, this is. Uh, we've got nether quartz, obviously. We've got plenty of nether quartz. I get a little bit of XP for that as well, nearly level 30. I uh, get all of these nether ores as well. It's just no nether, I guess. That's it. All of this stuff, instead of including this green smelly looking stuff get it all grab it all and sort it all out uh, i've got a plan for something that i want to do next to get rid of all those spiders and all that uh, i have a feeling that burning the place down is going to be the next stage right that's that that's cool all righty that's all oh one more bit over there i want to keep thank you uh, there's a few darkened spots down there, but I've been checking with F7 to see if anything can spawn around here. And it's only those few over there, and they're in the cobwebs, so I should be safe to look at my book here. But that is quite the haul of stuff from this level. Not bad. I'm going to throw it all in the AE system in a minute. Now, this I don't get, right? This was the climate control one, which we got. We got the rewards and everything. And then entertainment fireplace complete unclaimed reward below the climate center is a stimulated jungle which has an ae observation area it's very overgrown but lighting everything on fire will help me have a clear path i should gather up some cocoa before doing this and according to this i've already gathered 30 cocoa but i can't find 30 cocoa anywhere i just there's no 30 cocoa anywhere i don't know where it is i haven't got it it's not mine I don't know why it's already saying that I've completed the task. If other people have had that as well, then it could just be that the HQM uh, quests themselves may have a, a little problem in them. A little problem that I'm sure the mod pack maker would be able to fix if enough people tell him about it. If people tell him it's broken, then he can fix it. If he doesn't know it's broken, he doesn't know how to fix it. Things are that simple in the world. If we don't tell him straight, he won't know. Just mark that up. I don't believe I just had those areas. I guess there's so much spawn down in that jungle area. With an AE observation level as well. What is that going to be all about? An AE observation level. I don't get it. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't understand it. I don't claim to understand it. But we're going to find out. Just going to drop everything off. All of the goodies, gone. And then I can check this reward thing again. And do I want a reward bag or four stacks of coins? Well, I actually want the four stacks of coins because the reward bags can sometimes be pants. Whereas I need stacks of coins to buy DLCs. Uh, select it, claim the reward. Ding, 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 ding. Uh. Right, so I got a flint and steel. That's great. Give me some fire resistance potions as well. A dispenser for the fire charges. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. Five of those on a load of coins. Okay. Um, it's given me everything I need to light that place on fire and be safe about it. What's this then? In the AE observation center, there are multiple drives filled with disks. On one of those disks is a poly tool. This will be the last tool I need to get the portal up and running to return home. Oh, is it really that completable? And that's a detection task to detect that. And I get a chemical synthesis machine. Awesome. Yeah, just what I've already built. But I get a second one, like I saw in the comments. Synthesis guide. Okay. 
Uh, Animantine Sword, a Bullion. Animantine Sword, which I've already got. Resonant Ender Bucket. Ooh. Ooh, Resonant Ender. Maybe worth getting that. But the Bullion, that's another one. Ooh. Okay, well, we'll check that one out. Uh, and then I've only got this flashing. Base Tour, which I haven't been able to complete. And Clay, which I haven't done yet. Hmm, okay. And then we've got all of this stuff. But Pay to Win. Let's have a look at Pay to Win. How much was the next one? Five stacks. Five stacks to unlock the next load of things. Yeah. And I just so happen to now have five stacks. So let's complete that. Manual submit. Claim reward. Okay, and then that unlocks these guys. A lava suit. Right. Protection from lava and fire is in hazardous... Wow, four stacks. Gets me a protection from lava and fire suit. <laughs> and I'm about to go and burn the jungle down. How precisely awesome is that? And this is a silver set in my reward bag. A fabulous reward of a silver suit. Wow. Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. So, I've currently got fire resistance naught. Why have I got fire resistance naught? Why have I even got any fire resistance? Is it because I'm wearing that? Is it because I'm wearing that? Uh, why have I got fire resistance? Because of that. Because I've got the sword. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, <laughs> I'm lost. I don't really know what's going on. Uh, these make stacks like that. I can only make three stacks. How many did it say I needed to get? Four stacks. Wouldn't you believe it? Four stacks. Is there a way of getting any more? Eight coins for three uranium. Maybe I can entice some villagers to mine and handle uranium for me. Might be a little bad for their health, so they'll want good cons compensation. Okay. No, don't want to do that. I do want that lava suit, though. Hmm. What's this greater reward bag? A bag of something for a reward bag. Use coins to buy items. Each quest can be completed multiple times after the cooldown period. Da 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 da. Five bags of gold. Wow. Can I actually craft these coins? A recipe of coins. No, that was that. that. Any I. No, that was inventory tweaks. Giving me a, a run around. Coins. Coins can be made of stacks of coins. Stacks of coins can be made from coins. Bags equals nine stacks. Wow. I think I need to do a few more quests before I can do any of that lot then. So let's put the coins, the stacks and things away. And I'm even going to put my book away for now. Because there's nothing else I'm going to be completing out of that lot. So, uh, let's see. Silver suit. Let's see, what do I get? I get five and a half hearts with a silver suit. My iron suit with that helmet. Better. Better. But do I get any bonuses from this? Doesn't look like I get any bonuses from wearing the silver suit, so I'm back with my iron suit. Thank you very much. And we will stick this silver suit away in there for now. Tidy. All tidy like. I'm all good for weapons at the minute. I've got me flint and steel, a dispenser with a couple of fire charges, a couple of fire resistance potions. There's a silver axe in there as well now. And if I get a lever, then we could, I say we could, start burning down everything. Oh, I've got nine more fire charges. Let's leave one fire charge behind. And let's have a look. Lever. Lever, lever, lever. Let's go and start burning this forest down, shall we? All right. Do I bother making it day? No, but I will bother to get myself a little bit of melon. Because I'm bound to get hungry. It's bound to be hungry work, all of that running around in the in the heavy heat. I've got some bookshelves from somewhere as well, but not enough obsidian to be able to make myself an enchanting table to use these 30 levels up that I've got. I'm glad I haven't died yet. This area has been a little bit more easy than I expected. I did expect it to be a lot tougher, but then again, I have been a chicken about how I went in there and did everything. Speaking of chicken, where are my chickens? 
Where are all my animals? If you all tried to climb up there, is that a thing that's worth doing? I don't know. I hope they haven't all gone down here. Started getting eaten up. It's not a very good idea. All right, well, we're in. We're back down, and I need to burn stuff. That's what I need to do, it says. I need to burn stuff. So, we are going to go and start some fires. We are going to start some fires. Where are they all? I just expect them to be round the very next corner. It's the trouble. Alright, we've, uh, we've got some ways down here. Let's jump down this way a little bit. Carefully now, carefully. Make sure it's well lit up here. Carefully now, carefully. Let's do a little sparking up. Uh, yep. Yeah. Should start things rolling. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's just light a few bits. There we go. This is how they want me to do it. Burn them out. Burn them all out. See how well we can do it, actually, then. Uh, okay. You get there. There's lots and lots of mobs in here still. Lots and lots of them. I don't know where they could all be right now, though. They don't seem to be burning the place down very fast like that, do I? Eh? So let's light some of these leaves. Let's light the floor a bit. That'll probably do it, won't it? Light the floor a bit. And uh, back up. So let's set this off as well. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's the wrong way around. That's the wrong way around, I tell you. Okay. Set it up facing... Not facing me. It's not the way I wanted to do it at all. Facing me. There we go. And put some fire charges in it. Give it a redstone signal. And... Boom! <laughs> okay, that's probably the... The least significant way of doing things, I guess. We need to work our way into there, really. And smash all these mobs up. Give them some news breakage. Some breakages. Let's get a fire resistance on. I don't know how long this fire resistance is going to last for. But let's do that anyway. Yep. Slowly but surely burn the whole thing down. Now, I'm sure you pyromaniacs would love to see me do this a load more and see it all in progress. But i gotta, I got to say, this is probably going to take a little time. A little bit longer than you might expect. I'm going to burn it all down first, though. I've got the fire resistance on. I'm good. And uh, just going to, yeah, just burn the whole place out. Ow. Is that me taking damage? Need more fire resistance, maybe? No, I'm okay. I'm good. I got this sword. So, yeah. What else is there to do down here, really? It's starting to smoke. Starting to burn. It's starting to do exactly what I wanted it to do. The mobs will be burning with it, no doubt. Lots and lots of them around. I can tell, I can tell by the map still. There's still lots of them around. Whether they're down here or whether they're somewhere else, I don't know yet. Just get some more lit up burning. Burn the whole jungle paradise down and find this thing. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish burning it down. And then when, the, when it's cleared, when it's all sorted, I will come back to you. And we'll have a look at this AE containment area. Oh yes. Burn. Burn it all. Alrighty then. Well, it's been a little while. Been a little busy. Just been collecting some more bits and pieces from uh, around here. Uh, and killing a few spiders and things and stuff. Uh, got most of the place sorted out down in the jungle. Uh, just collected all that deep iron from up around here. It's pretty secure around here now though. Um, I think it's just a case of lighting up this area a little bit more. Because I've had a few spawns come up and around. 
piggy still sitting there. Pretty much all of this is gone. I uh, forgot those few torches. I might need those, so let's get them. There's still a ton of spiders and stuff around underneath me. Not a lot I can do about those just yet. And there's not a lot I plan to do about them just yet either. Uh, most of this area is completely secure. I think a lot of them are up there. Look. Yeah, look. That made me jump. He glitched out from up there somewhere. There they are, look. They're all in that space between the two floors. Not a lot I can do about them. They might be able to break through there, but I don't know. Uh, mostly down here, though, in the jungle, is no longer in the jungle. The jungle is no longer the jungle. But I reckon that in between that floor and the floor above, there's also a ton of mobs. Because I'm down here on level 9, and there's not many mobs. Unless they're below me, I don't know where they are. I don't know where they are. But this was once all a jungle. And I've burnt most of it down and collected most of the other stuff. So that's quite a lot to take home with me, including the cocoa beans. So the cocoa bean quest that I completed automatically, um, well, doesn't really matter because there's so many cocoa beans here anyway. And I've just been gathering up like that. There's quite a few there just regrowing just to keep a stock up. I may as well, I thought, while I was down here. Uh, this one chest was hidden in amongst it all. So, uh, out of the whole place, there's that area there which we needed to find, and there's this one chest hidden over the other side of it. And it's got tropical hives in it, which I think I'm going to take. Uh, it's got a couple of ME chests, which is awesome. It's got a genetic sample of a gro tropical bee. Cool. And some tropical larvae. And this is all something to do with... Um, Forestry, obviously bees, forestry, but I don't remember anything about these larvae or anything like that. So I don't know what that might be. I don't know what it might be. Uh, and that drain sample from Gendustry. I'm not sure how to use that yet, so I'm just going to keep hold of it for now. Uh, but the element of what we looked for, looking for in this quest is down here. And uh, clearing this out has been daunting... But when it came down to it, it wasn't that hard. It gave you the tools to uh, burn everything down. It let me burn everything. And then once I burnt a load of area and I had fire resistance, there wasn't a lot spawned in this area. The mini-map shows hundreds of things all over the place, but they're either below me or above me. Then it weren't actually in here. So I just went round and torched the place up. It was quite easy, really, I suppose. Pretty easy. Uh, but under... Under all this, it seems to be a concrete, well, a, a stone floor underneath a floor of wood. And in some areas, the fire's burnt it, and in other areas, I've cut it out myself. And there's these little ladders that go down into this area. And there's uh, there's potentially something behind these walls, potentially. I haven't checked these uh, for safe or anything like that yet. And then we've got this little section here, which has got um, vibrant quartz glass and loads more of the crafting CPUs. Loads more of the crafting CPUs all the way down here. And then look at how many discs there are. I am never going to need to make another disc ever. Um, and the quest, the quest, the quest, the quest, the thing that was brought us down here to risk our lives so much is this one. The poly tool. In the AE observation center, there are multiple drives filled with discs. No shit. There's tons of them. On one of those discs is a poly tool. This will be the last tool I need to get the portal up and running to return home. Sounds like the finale quest to me. A task square player, blah, blah, blah. So I've got to find a poly tool on one of these to complete that quest. And I got no power. I got no power. So what I'm thinking is maybe... If I just scan through them... There should be a bite of storage on one of them. That one's done. Okay. There should be one of them that's got a bite of storage. Now, I'm guessing that left to right is the way they would expect people to check. So, we just check those two. Let's start right to left. Because so then it's sort of like almost the last place you look, isn't it? Everything's always in the last place you look because then you find it, don't you? So, there should be some bites of information on one of these. Some but come on, there's got to be some bites of information on one of these. Let's check the next one along. 
You watch, it'll be at the start now I started at the end. I didn't actually take the time to check these to show you where it might be. Mm, ah, there we go. That's the one. And yeah, the rest are pretty empty, of course. Okay, so I can't stack these up. So I'm just going to fill my inventory with uh, what I can. So I'm just going to take those, leave a slot spare. I'm going to take those so that I've got some more for upstairs. Uh, and that's where we're heading. We're going to head up to the power supply. So rather than coming down to get the um, power supply over here, we're going to take the power supply up. Uh, we're going to take the disc to the power supply. And I think I can hear more of them up this level. So I think it's it's between the ceiling there and the floor here is where there's tons of them in this area. So I'm going to figure a way of cleaning them out. I might just bring a bucket of lava and pour some lava down there to just kill them all off. Uh, there's plenty of lava here, so I can just take this lava and just pour it down there, maybe. I'll have to have a look at that, but not right now. This episode is at the wrapping up point. We're getting there. We're just going to complete this quest. And then that is a job well done, I believe. Uh, I go this way nowadays. I blocked off the other side as well while I was down here. And as you can see, I just took some of the uh, track and iron and stuff that I had up here as well. So I swapped that around out. This is my uh, second pick as well, this is. I've got through two picks already, clearing all this out. So this whole mountainside here I've removed down to the dirt, basically. And I was thinking of doing something maybe below it, uh, like a mine shaft and mine out underneath all of this dirt, because over in that corner, there was a lot of materials hidden away inside it. And I don't know how much is underneath. Like, there's some coal in there, and there were some uh, other little blocks and stuff. There's some, yeah, there's some ores and stuff around here. But I do want to turn this whole place into a farm, but I do need a place, a way to get underneath the soil to go and have a look around. And then that will be my only way down into the biosphere down, down deep area. Uh, still getting plenty of ink every time I come up here, which is pretty cool. Uh, nearly night. Let's just have a quick sleep. Just to make it day, so we can see everything in the beautiful sunlight. I'm actually thinking of moving the farm that I've just spent ages flattening out and sorting out over there to outside somewhere, so that I don't need this biosphere ever loaded up. I can just go and have it... I know, just have a farm just down there or somewhere. It's all bedrock, so nothing's going to grow, uh, nothing's going to spawn out there. So I might just build myself a big farm fields and stuff down there. Uh, I think we've got some kinds of automation as well. well let's put that in there, uh, along with another couple of discs. Throw the spare discs in there, along with everything else we've found so far, including all the bee stuff. I'll get those out when I need them. Uh, yeah, that'll do. And now we should have a poly tool. Nope. No. Tell me it's there. Tell me it was on that disc. Tell me it was on that disc. Let's take the chest. And let's take that one disc there. Let's connect the chest to the ME drive. Right. Put that in there. It was pink wool. All right, sneaky, sneaky git. All right, so these were all empty. Yes, let's work our way back round. There's going to be another one that's connected up. Unless it's connected up to behind. Ah, there it is. There's another one. There's 18 bits of storage. I'm going to ch check for some more now while I'm here. Okay, there. that's got nothing on. I'm going to check them all now because I'm not going back with half-hearted. I thought that there would only be one disc. As you possibly did too, unless you've already been here. But I needed to check more, didn't I? And now it looks like I have... Oh, there's another one. And... Yeah, that looks like now we've got everything then. I think I checked these first, didn't I? Yeah. So I'm going to gather up all of these discs and put them into my ME storage um, upstairs. Uh, and all the disk drives and everything. I'm going to take all of them up as well. I'm going to clear out some more wood and take all of this kind of stuff up between episodes while I'm not recording. Um, but 
are probably not going to do much down underneath uh, where all those spiders are down here. Just yet. I might consider making some form of mob farm out of it. Uh, just so that I can get a load of spider farming done or something. Uh, or just get myself the... Um, the ender quarry, maybe. Try and figure out the ender quarry so that I can just put the quarry over the top of this place and just quarry it all out. Now I've taken all the general resources. As soon as I've got my uh, my cows and pigs and all that kind of stuff off the, out of here and onto a farm outside, I don't need this place anymore. Uh, I can quite easily set up myself a little squid farm and all that sort of stuff and become a farmer. Become a farmer. And then maybe do the tree breeding and stuff down on the floor instead of on that little island that I've got. And this can be a place where we can come for adventure and uh, to work in the workshop and that'll be it. Alright, so let's have a look. On the first disc that we got, we've got a load of materials. Nice. Helmets. Oh, wow. A wooden sword. Jeez. A stone sword. Some mycelium. Blocks of coal. Yeah, cool. Still more daylight sensors. Some golden weapons, some golden helmets, ignitus boots, nice, but no poly tool. Alright, so we've got some decent stuff there for equipping up. Wow, that's uh, that's a fair bit of materials there, thank you. Uh, I still don't see a poly tool, but there are lots of ingots and some sap. There's the jungle sapling, da 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 And some bread, oh well, I'm having the bread, because... Eating melon all day is not good for my digestion. Diamond ore, 10 diamond ore. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome. Okay, so that's that's a good disc. We like that one. So the final one. Yay! We've got a chemical synthesis machine, a chemical decomposer, and three poly tools. Three poly tools. Wow, wow, wow. Let's take that out. Put that in. Take that out. Put that in. And take that out put that there oh yeah yeah stick all of those away and check this quest out let's see what we got so manual detect ding 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 i get a synthesis guide a chemical synthesis machine and i get to choose do i want the bullion to get the buyable content or do i want the resident ender bucket to get some ender juices hmm what i need is an ender pearl I need an ender pearl, and I want to be able to make an ender pearl. Calcium carbonate and ensteinium. Okay. Well, there's one way to make them. Uh, pulsating mesh in a carpenter. Nah. That's the only way. So getting those is a thing that I might have to do. Uh, resonant ender bucket is ender pearls into there, but I can't do it the other way. Hmm, resonant ender. What can I use resonant ender for? Uh, making the tesseract, yes. Uh, making endstone, yes. Putting it into forbs, yes. Uh, that's it, really. So I'm going to need a lot of ender pearls. So I need to make a mod farm to make ender pearls. So I'm not so sure that one bucket of resonant ender is worth me getting. I don't need another sword, so I think I can get the bullion. I think I'm going to go with the bullion, because once I can make end uh, ender pearls, then I can make resident ender myself. There's bullion I don't seem to be able to make, so I'm going to claim the bullion. And that's completed everything in this quest tree apart from getting clay. Uh, should see if there's any water nearby. A hundred clay. I haven't seen anywhere where the, there's a hundred clay. I mean, it could be that when I start digging out this area down here, when I start digging out this bit, er, this bit, that I'm going to find clay under there. Oh, and a zombie has spawned. I need to light that up a bit better. Uh, yeah, it might be that there's a ton of clay underneath this area when I cut that down to size like the rest of the place. Um, so I might be able to co complete that quest then. But for now, that is it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Material Energy Cubed. As is customary, we will... Uh, and I forgot to do this once. So, uh, spell check pointed it out to me. Uh, let's just uh, pop that down there. Give it me, Pigman. Yes, he did. Thank you very much. And thank you for reminding me, spell check. Uh, we've got to put the pink wool on. 
awesome, uh, which is straight after the lime, which is good, because that means that area had lime and pink wool, which means that the other areas, white and orange, magenta, light blue and yellow, must have been in the other areas already, and the other areas we can access via... Oh, i got some new stuff opened up. Um, via this, which means that... Here's Biosphere. So, Inclusion Chamber, Miner's Delight and Mesa Caverns may hold the missing ones, because this has been Biosphere. And so, Biosphere. Inclusion Chamber probably gives us the first two, three, maybe like that. And then Miner's Delight and Mesa Caverns may give us another couple. Maybe. Maybe, baby, maybe. But that is it for this episode. We will check the quest book starting next episode to see what we've unlocked under new quests to achieve. I'm going to have a sneaky peek before, na uh, before recording that. So I will see you next episode when we can look at some new exciting stuff and get moving on. Hopefully I'll be able to move my farm creatures out of the biosphere and into the overworld and build myself a little farm. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time on Material Energy Cubed.